What's up everyone, Matt here. It's been a long while. Just did a video on street photography you should check out. Fun time. But today we are checking out the Helix from Polar Pro, Peter McKinnon. Uh, I saw the email, I had to get this. I have, as you can see, all, I mean, mist, blue, morphic. I have pretty much all of them. I will say my favorite is the three to six VND. But I wanted to check this system out because it is true. I typically end up not using a VND and just pulling my shutter speed way up because of this motion that I don't want to do. This looked really cool, super innovative, so figured we'd unbox it, put it on a few lens, and just uh, see what the whole thing's about. Let's do it. So here's the package. I bought the VND 2-5 to kit. So it came with an 82 and a 77, which is perfect for the 50 mil. So let's just open this, uh, this little guy up. Boom, check that out. Holy heavy duty. I mean, I mean, it's got some weight to it. It's cool. I don't know how to use this at all, so we're gonna be exploring this together, but it seems pretty self-explanatory, especially with these little buttons here on the side, which are Really nice to push in. That's really cool. I'm not really sure what happens here. I also don't know what is what. So it looks like that would be, ah, okay. So there's these little white marks on the side. That's the, the front, the front. Boom, put it on there and then it turns and locks. And then what I'm doing here is changing uh, that haptic between the different levels of VND. So, you just match, match it up, comes right off. Oh, it's very magnetic. I think that's, I wasn't expecting that. Cool. So, and then the back one, I would imagine, is the same way. We just, boom. Very, very magnetic. I think I just wasn't pulling hard enough. You don't have to actually align it, you just push it past it. All right, so that's the VND little box here, nice little cleaning cloth, and the uh, flare app is actually pretty dope, I use it often. I'm assuming these are the rings, look at, look at that thing, look at that, look at that, 77 millimeter. Here is the 82, it's pretty much like the perfect kit, really, let's just move that stuff over there. And then they also give you this Defender. Again, this is the kit that I got. Oh, it's a little... Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, that didn't work as well as planned. Another front cap. Front cap. So they give you an extra cap, which makes sense, so you can actually keep it on uh, both. So this is interesting. Boom, locked on, doesn't doesn't shift. And it's gonna be a lot easier on the lens. So let me grab a camera real fast for the purpose of this demonstration, since we have cameras all over. We're just gonna rock the R5C. And let's start with, uh, this is a 15 to 35. And we will just take the lens cover off. This is the 82, so screw that bad boy on there like that. Boom. So this is the front cap. And again, they give you two if you buy the kit, so you have one for both of the base plates, which is pretty cool. And this will pretty much be the setup moving forward, right? Boom. Pretty clean. Not too much extra. And if you want to shoot, you just i tighten that down. That's gonna take some getting used to, just given how magnetic it is. But I mean, that's good, right? It snaps on. Peter did it a lot more smooth. All right, so theoretically, we would just pop this guy off, pop the back plate off, which tells you rear. So let's see, gold to gold. Oh, that's nice. That's real nice, you hear that? Just snaps on. Snap it in place and then that's it, the VND is on, right? So then moving forward, you just pop this 
base plate off, and you're ready to shoot. Oh, and these two snap together. Not locked, but, oh, they are locked. They are locked. That's cool. So that's cool, because you can kind of keep these. Look at all the little speckles. Very cool. And like labeled perfect. So now, put this guy, let's put this guy on the camera. And that's it. I mean, this is a pretty hefty setup again because it's the R5C, but I mean, look at that. Look at that. That's pretty rad. And then let's just see if it's as easy as it, as it actually is, right? So boom, no VND, put it on there. And with time, it's gonna be a lot easier. And what's cool is you still get that haptic feel, which I didn't have on my three to six. Uh, because they didn't do that with the haptic. So you still get the haptic too. Every time you go to the next one, kind of lets you know where it is. And there's even a little red line for the max, which is pretty cool. So you're still getting that. And then to pop it off, you just boom. Pretty dope. It'll definitely make me shoot with a VND a lot more. So let's toss it on the 50. And again, since I bought the kit, it came with both base plates, which is rad. And that's it. Just like that, it's on the 50. You can keep the front plate on there when you're not using it. So front plate's on, just like that. And then that's gonna be the setup for uh, whenever I'm traveling with my lens, which is nice. And then if you wanna switch, you just pop the faceplate off, pop the VND off, boom, VND's on. It's pretty cool. So obviously I haven't used it because we just opened it, but I will say when I went to buy it, one thing I really wished was an option was the ability to adapt all the filters I currently have to this kit. I mean, they're not cheap, they're expensive, right? So my blue Morphic, my gold Morphic, and I really only use those if I'm doing like some type of cinematic shoot or something where I want the look, but the mist, I do typically use the mist filter. And the fact that I have to buy it again, is kind of a bummer um, just because I've invested so much in filters already. But for this, VND is going to be great. It's gonna be fast, just quickly switching, especially between lens. I do hope they come out with a kit to adapt it to smaller lens. I have a 24 and a 35 little primes that I like to use. It'd be nice for those. I could always use a step up ring, I suppose. That's probably the easiest way to do it. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty, pretty stoked. You know, the fact that I can just leave this on like that. Let's take this off. So this is the rear. So theoretically, when I'm not using it, VND would stay there. And that would be like that, and that's my that's my lens cap cover. All right? Pretty sweet. I dig the look. I do almost wish it would have came with another cap to put over this, because now I'm kind of left with this VND, which has a back plate, but no front. But I guess if you're out shooting, you could always pop that thing on there and boom, you know, just rock like this. So that's it, quick video, just came in the mail today. I'm pretty pumped to actually try it out in the streets and uh, see what it's about. And you know, I think a lot of design and effort went into this and it's a really cool system. So thank you for this, pumped to try it out and uh, Hit me with the like or a sub for the algorithm. Stay tuned for more content as soon as I get the time to do more. And if you're into music stuff, check out my music channel where I'm releasing a full music course and a ton of other content over there. And uh, that's it. We out.